the Best Best Hair. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm still struggling a little bit with my sinus infection, but I wanted to hop on and do this video for you. So many of you know that in September, I went out to California and I had the opportunity to sit down with Jacqueline Smith and Jose Ebert and talked about my hair loss journey, how I started wearing wigs, how I started with Paula Young wigs, and how much I love Jacqueline Smith's wigs. Shortly before I went out to California, I had gotten Bridget from Style by Jacqueline Smith in two colors. Wildflower Honey, the one that I'm wearing, and also in the Caramelized Brown Rooted, which you can see here. I did a video of that and I'll link it over here for you. So the plan for California was I wore Bridget going out there and then the night before our interview, we actually met for dinner. So we had reservations at this beautiful restaurant in Beverly Hills and it was actually in a hotel and it was in the courtyard area and that was super fun and I was kind of like, ooh, what wig should I wear to meet Jacqueline Smith? I knew that I wanted to wear one of her wigs, obviously. So I opted to wear the caramelized brown rooted Bridget when we met for dinner. So it was a team member from Paula Young and myself, and then Jacqueline, her husband, her assistant, and also Jose Ebert. So Jose sat to the right of me, and then uh, Deb from Paula Young, then Jacqueline, then her husband, then her assistant. It was a round table. And it was really, really wonderful. We must have been in there for two hours, and it was beautiful outside, and just kind of light piano music playing in this beautiful courtyard with water fountains and we just got to know each other which was really nice. We didn't go over any of the interview questions ahead of time because Deb from Paula Young said I really want it to be more spontaneous. I think it's better that way and more natural that way so it was just more about getting to know each other and we laughed and we joked and we had fun and even at one point during the dinner Judge Judy came by with her husband and she gave Jose a big hug and of course he was right next to me and was kind of looking at her because I thought, I think I know her because I recognized the voice but I didn't recognize the hair. And she's like, oh, how are you all doing today? I know I know each and every one of you. She's like, <laughs> so I'm just smiling, yeah, huh? we're doing great. <laughs> but I really didn't know her. And then after she left, Jose said, did you know that's Judge Judy? And even Jacqueline was like, it was? And she's like, I thought she had short hair. And he said, oh, she's been growing it out. She wanted to look like the judge. And he's like, who's the female judge, the big judge? And she passed away, and I'm like, Ruth Bader Ginsburg? <laughs> and he said, yes, she wants to look like Ruth Bader Ginsburg, darling. And so she's growing her hair and keeping it long in a ponytail. <laughs> But it was so sweet and we just had a lot of fun at the restaurant and then the next day Deb and I Ubered out to Jacqueline's home and then I wore this Bridget going in there in Wildflower Honey and so then from there we proceeded to get all of the wigs ready to go um, for the filming and we were filming out on Jacqueline's patio was beautiful, she was lovely, she was warm, she was gracious, and um, I was up in her, her son's bedroom, he doesn't live there anymore, he lives, I believe she said out in Virginia or West Virginia, he just opened up a new restaurant with his wife or his fiance, so um, that was really neat, and Jose's assistant Coco was there, so Coco kind of helped me do the quick changes when I was showing Jacqueline and Jose the wigs that we were filming. So I opted to show them five wigs, but I wanted to tell you which one was their favorite. So I saved the best for last, and Bridget was their favorite on me. I started out with Cameo, I changed into Chris then I believe it was Leading Lady, then I believe it was Sunset, 
and then I went and changed into Bridget and came back down. So the Bridget that I changed into was this one, and this was actually new in the box. It wasn't the old one that I had worn out there. So I wanted to show you what I do <laughs> with my wigs. So this is the Bridget that I actually wore out there and when we were on the Hollywood tour bus and all that other um, good stuff. We went to Jose's salon and I've trimmed layers in this one. So it's quite short now. I can just put it on real quick to show you. And then I want to show you the final interview because I got a chance to ask Jacqueline some fangirl questions about Charlie's Angels, and I think you're going to want to see that. So hold on one sec. All right, so this is the old Bridget. This is the one that I wore on the plane when we were out in L.A. doing the different tours. This is the one that I wore to Jacqueline's house. Now, I have since trimmed it up, and so I tend to do that when I have longer wigs, and they start to get a little rougher on the edges. I just point cut. I don't have my scissors here, I was just going to show you. I just point cut into them and add a few layers just to kind of trim up those frizziness just to keep the wig looking nice. So now it almost looks a little bit more like Chris, but it's super cute. And remember, I love my Trust Tech wig wax, and I'll link down below in the description box. If you follow my link to purchase this, you get $5 off each bottle doesn't matter how many you buy so that's a great deal i would suggest it i absolutely love it i use it all the time i want to go ahead and show you the final video clips where i got a chance to interview jacqueline and jose and ask them some questions and that was super fun i just want to thank you all for supporting me for staying with me and if you haven't done so yet please subscribe I would love it. That helps me in the YouTube algorithm to stay relevant, and I would truly appreciate that. And in closing, we're going to watch me interviewing Jacqueline Smith. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. So my final wig that I am showing you, this one is my husband's favorite. I think it's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. It just gets better and better. Bridget and Wildflower Honey, it's just so gorgeous. I love the length. I love the layers. It has a nice bang. There's a lot of viewers that like to have bangs, so yeah. I love this. It's just enough. That's it's the one the you wear bang. the most? Yes, definitely. I know, it, it looks very, it's very you, yeah. Very you. you. It looks great. I mean, I'm I feel so <laughs> comfortable. I just, I love it. it. It's so wonderful to feel like you have beautiful hair. And to know that you it looks have great. Beautiful yeah. hair. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you, it's so it's so great. So I totally love it. And now your natural color was a little darker than this, right? Yeah, exactly. Similar. I would I would have highlights or you know sort of foils done, if you will, <laughs> to get some of those blonde highlights. Blonde, as I like to say. <laughs> I love the blonde with the color of your brown eyes. It Thank just you. Works. I really, I just really love it. It's great. Yeah. So. But you love them all. I love them all. Because I really more, do. You have an addiction so to wigs. Yeah. It does become. It's a great addiction to it. It does become yeah. an addiction. Yeah, I know. Because I mean, it's like the hair that you always wished that you had, or the hair that you always dreamed you have, and now you can have it. Yeah. So. You That's just, yeah. exactly it. That's why yeah. we're pleasing so many people, right? That's yes. right. Yeah. So. Thank you for being here. Oh my goodness. I'm going to tell you, not only is it a delight to see you in the wigs, it's been enlightening for so many people and your story, your personal story is very moving and inspirational. Thank so it'll you. open doors for people. I really Thank think you. so. Not just to have a pretty hair, right. just emotionally, right. which is what I love. And that's what I, what I mean when I say things have to be wedded to something deeper. Mm -hmm. And, and you are. So thank you. Glad we got to meet. I and am spend too. Spend the day together. And I'm I've been starstruck all day long. Oh, <laughs> um, so I don't know if you know, but my daughter and I are huge Charlie's Angels fans. Really? And we bought her the complete box set DVD oh. series when she was 14 for Christmas. And we love to watch. We like like to have a girls' night and watch some of your episodes. So one of our favorites was season one, and it was Angels and Chains. Oh, well, <laughs> when, that's, that's, 
You know, if you if you ask each of the first three angels which was their favorite, we would say angels and chains. Oh, James. okay. We sort of that was our I think our second show or maybe our Friday. I you think know, it's it was episode early on. four. Oh, well, you know more than me. Gosh, she knows more about Charlie. She knows more about wind. <laughs> no. Something is cuckoo here. But but you would if you ask any of the angels that say that show, we sort of knew there was a chemistry yes. and we knew there was a bond mm -hmm. and we knew it was going to work. It was so, great. I didn't know yeah. if you guys were going to get out of that prison. No, I didn't know <laughs> that was. You know, James Woods was in that and Kim Basinger. Kim Basinger. Mm -hmm. And, so you, and she was great at the end and I think she was going to yeah. be the receptionist at the end. Yeah. <laughs> the, the receptionist, Kim Basinger. Okay. Yeah. But it, it, was, it, was, uh, it was a good one. Yeah. So, so my last fangirl moment question if you're okay with it so as detective kelly garrett you had you had all these beautiful clothes i mean you guys had designer alan austin and gabardine suits oh, alan austin how do you know you had wow. in the silk blouses i did i did, did. i did keep the alan austin he's a you did that was friend. my question did you get to oh, keep him wild you know about alan oh, austin yes. yeah it was a wonderful store and very classic clothing yes. and a lot of pants suits mm -hmm. and beautiful silk blouse and I did keep that green is my favorite color the green okay. silk blouse is sort of speckled yes. green and I still have that hanging I'll oh, never that take is... that out of my closet because let me tell you something that changed our world you yes. know we got on this train and mm -hmm. rode across that bridge and we never knew what we were going to find on the other end and it just changed all of our lives so completely. Oh, that's wonderful. That's awesome. And I must say, I met Jose through my friend Farah. At first, I wasn't allowed to have him cut my hair oh. because she wanted to <laughs> she be the only one. She wanted to be the and only one. And so yes. when the show was over, where did I go? Jose. To Jose. And <laughs> I we've love that. been very close friends ever since. But it's that's interesting, wonderful. the personal stories that, that keep coming up. Because Charlie's Angels, as you know, was 40 mm -hmm. years ago. Long time. It's a long, long time. <laughs> well, but I just we're want here. <laughs> and I am so grateful. I really want to thank both of you for having me here today. It's been so much fun sharing my wig journey and trying on the wigs. I love your collection. And I just want you to know that I'm going to keep on promoting your wig collection exclusively at Polly Young. Right. I, want, I want the everyday woman to know that they can have beautiful hair every day. And they don't have to feel alone and depressed about it anymore. Right. Well, you're am you are our personal ambassador. <laughs> Thank you. You are for wigs, but you're our personal one. Thank you so much. Yeah. Truly, it's a blessing. It really is. Thank you. No, but Thank you you you're doing such amazing work for everybody. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Great meeting. Thank you. you. Yes. We yes. love you. I love you and too. And come back. Oh my gosh. I yeah. Will. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you don't need tips, you're beautiful. Oh, Joyce, you certainly have done your hair. Oh my gosh, way. your hair is beautiful. I love it. Thank you. I love the color. It's Carmelata Frappuccino. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Can I get this one in a wig? Yeah, we're going to make it. Carmelata Frappuccino. Yeah, we'll do this, this yeah. color because there's so many colors in this one. Chocolate. Yes. Yeah. Chocolate mm -hmm. and what other? Caramel gold. Yeah, what do you call it? Something short.